Hi, I thought I'd do a quick uh, channel update. It's been uh, quite a long time, I'm afraid. Uh, just various things, busy, work, kids, etc. Um, but yes, where, where am I? What am I doing? What have I, what have, what have I been up to? Um, so at the moment, I'm working on the uh, Eddard uh, Vietnam scooter uh, 148. Fantastic little kit. Um, I'll give you a quick look at. Um, I'm actually on the deckling stage at the moment. Uh, as you'll notice, we've got a bit more lighting here, so hopefully you can see these a lot better. Um, also got a slightly more top-down uh, camera view, so hopefully that'll, that'll be better. Um, yeah, it's a good kit. You know, it's it's a, a Hasegawa plastic, so you know, generally you can't really go far wrong. Um, I think really what makes this kit though is the decals. The, the decals are fantastic. Um, very glossy, as you can see. Uh, but they go have been going on really nicely um, no complaints no problems um, you've also got the added extra the, the photo edge for the um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that but you've got the photo edge there for the um, cockpit which is nice and of course there's a racing seat to go in there which uh, is all painted and ready to pop in um, nice bit of detail underneath it's, it's a good kit um, so we're not far off there. Once we've got all the decals on, we're going to clear gloss on there, get some uh, a bit of weathering. I'm not going to go too mad with it. I want it look want it to look quite uh, uh, new, <laughs> I suppose. Um, especially as I say, the decals are nice. I think it'll it'll show them off nicely. Um, so that's basically what I'm working on at the moment. Um, uh, once that's finished, I'll show you what I've got planned coming up. Um, here I'm going to finally start on this kit um, Eddard again 148 uh, Spitfire um, Mark uh, 9C um, press pack again so you get all the goodies in the box but I went a bit mad um, I managed to get to pick up the uh, resin uh, engine for it actually it was on offer um, creative models I think um, 14 15 quid something like that so you know <laughs> I couldn't resist it really I thought that would be nice to go in there um, also picked up um, the uh, gun base set again I thought that would be nice we can have the gun panel open which would be good um, wasn't particularly expensive so and they were doing a deal if you bought it with the post, you know, free postage that sort of thing so I thought um, I'll get the resin wheels and something I've not tried before um, is these uh, super fabric seat belts? Um, it's actually for a Mark 8, um, but I can't believe it's going to be that different and it'll be interesting to see. If they don't look right, we, we well, we'll have to buy a Mark 8 at some point, won't we? Simple as that, really, <laughs> and use them for that. But I, I don't think there's going to be a significant difference, hopefully. I, I'm not a Spitfire expert, but I, I just enjoy building them basically. Um, so hopefully that'd be good. Um, yes, um, I wasn't going to do an inbox review, but I thought maybe just quickly go over what we've got here. Um, I'd quite like to, I might try and do this as a build series with actually film a bit of the build process sort of, and do it in a sort of parts um, sort of thing, um, time permitting, unfortunately. Um, probably this is going to be the sort of a fairly biggish build because obviously the engine's going to take a fair amount of work. Um, so it'll probably be the sort of thing I'll probably, uh, you know, kind of get cracking as we get into autumn, winter, the darker nights. Hopefully we get that done, and hopefully I'll find a bit of time to film it if you're interested, um, and do it as a sort of series of build parts. Um, but anyway, just quickly, I mean, this this has been out a while now, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going, doing a proper review, but just so you can see what we what we're working with here, um, you know, typical Edar, nice glossy instruction manual fairly standard stuff um, obviously you get the photo edge with it which is nice and the masks which should be useful I'm not going to go through the build um, obviously I did contemplate getting a resin copy as well I'm going with the whole hog but the actual copy itself looks pretty good and I think um, the main focus will be on the engine anyway so um, I don't think I'm going to do um, I don't think I'll go for the resin um, cockpit as well. 
uh, you know, it's not a particularly complicated build, the main aircraft. Um, although there's quite a few steps. We've got, you know, it's, it's not particularly complicated. It goes together fairly quickly by the looks of things. Um, versions, obviously, which one am I going to do? <laughs> Good question. Um, obviously, the one on the box art is quite nice. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of torn between this one here which is uh, from Italy, um, which is kind of in, in the silver, aluminium, obviously with some um, camo here, but different, something I've not done before, I thought it might be interesting, red nose, which would be nice, um, so I thought maybe that one, or I'm probably going to do the one here, this is the one here, based in Tangmere, 1944, literally Tangmere is just down the road from me, um, literally about 20 minute drive, so um, I thought that might be quite good to do that one. So I don't know yet, we'll, we'll see. Um, obviously it even shows you the parts I've got here, obviously the resin wheels, the gun bay, um, and the engine. And obviously yes, you can see you can get a full resin cockpit as well. Not really a massive parts count. You've got your main sprue, I said, there's so many reviews here, so I'm not going to open it yet um, and show you, there's just a bit pointless really. Um, clear parts. Photo etch, main bits and bobs. So, and decals, I've got uh, stencils, masks, and fairly nice looking decal sheet. It looks like Zedard's own decals. Uh, they look pretty good though. Um, cool, so that's the basic kit itself. Um, obviously we've got these seat belts. Sorry, the light's probably burning them out a bit. It might adjust, there you go, it's a bit better. I'll just stick those in the box. Uh, the wheels, oh, I mean I could open the packet, but to be honest, as you can probably see hopefully, Sorry, the light probably does. Unfortunately, there you go. They're nice. Stick those in there. Um, gun bay, I'm going to open this up so we can take a little, slightly better look. I'm oh, kind of curious. Let's see what we've got in here. So there is some sort of tape holding it together. I can get it apart. <laughs> There we go, that's cool. That's actually going to pop up nicely so you get a little instruction leaflet. Um, shows you the pictures here, what it should end up looking like. And then we've got a kind of sheet here. In fact, it covers different versions by the looks of things. C type, early C, and E type. There, it doesn't look like it's an overly complicated build. Obviously you've got parts to remove um, before you start fitting the cannon, the various bits, ammunition. Uh, there's obviously a paint, what's nice on this is there's a painting guide so it gives you paint numbers. I uh, imagine they're all in guns, probably the same as um, the rest of the build. Okay, covers there. A number of resin parts, the main sort of bay itself, uh, nicely moulded there. The actual cannon, if you can see that okay. Again, nicely moulded, though taking that off the casting block is going to be fun. And then you've got various. Uh, cover panels, the smaller bulge there, and different type cannon, I'm assuming there's actually two types here then, um, yeah it looks like the E type is the longer one, whereas the C type is the slightly 
slightly shorter one. You can see that there, sorry. And yep, that's what it looks like. We've actually got a machine gun in here as well, the Browning. Interestingly enough. Okay, so it looks like you only use that in the E type not the C type. So there's a few differences there you've got to watch out for or I'm going to need to watch out for when I come to the build. These various little pieces here. Not overly exciting. There's the rounds ammunition. Some pipe work. Some extremely delicate parts here. Another sort of access panel. Oh yeah, so you've got looks like you've got again your two types of rounds, your machine guns, and your cannon there. Which is nice. And another mm, pipe or something. Cool. Nice, nice little bits there. Oh hang on, let's get the photo etch. We've got a bit of photo etch here as well. Nice bit of uh, brass. Add a bit of extra detail, that's nice. Cool. Pop that back in there. There we go. It's quite nice because you can, it's a resealable. never goes quite back the way it came out. But again, we'll leave that in the box there so it won't go missing. Then the engine. Now this looks really nice. Again, we get a little instruction leaflet here. As you can see from the actual picture, if it turns out looking like that, it should be good. Uh, gives you a part sort of layout there at the front. And then it pretty much cracks straight on. We've kind of got two panel, two sheets here, both sides on that one. In fact, actually, you've got a parts breakdown on the back there as well. And there's even uh, guns, Mr. Color, um, paint call outs there. So, I guess you're going to actually start with this one, putting the engine together. Um, again, it's quite good, it gives you detail of where the paint, uh, paint colors, what should be what color. Um, and then we've got pipe work, etc. Shows you which parts need to be removed. Um, it looks superb. Um, some nice, nice, nice detail there. We kind of get two, well, actually, there's more than two bags, but you kind of get the two types of resin. I don't know what the difference is. It's a, you get this more flexible part, thinner for the main. Let's get this out so you can see it here for the various covers, engine covers, side panels, nicely detailed with very fine rivets, pipe work. You have to watch, uh, I did a 109 not so long back and trying to remove them from here. You have to be very careful, nice sharp knife or oh, this is quite easy to break particularly with these thinner pipes. Uh, the sort of under underneath here. Again, it's very, very thin. So care will have to be taken. Again, you've got some really nice details here inside and out. Very, very fine rivets. So then we go on to the more sort of traditional type resin parts here. The main engine block itself which is actually smaller than I expected, but I guess once you've got all the bits and bobs bolted onto it, it'll look a bit bigger. Um, beautifully, beautifully detailed here. Again, it has to take quite a bit of care taking it off the casting block, particularly here. Um, you've got pipes, which you'll need to be, you'll need to, it's almost like, I don't know, flash is quite the right word for it, but um, you'll need to clean these up because this should be pipe work 
but you've kind of got the sort of membrane in the middle need to be cleaned up. Some more. I'm, again, the detail on this is for the supercharger. As you can see the detail is absolutely amazing, fantastic. Again, this one should be slightly easier to take off the casting block. But again, you need to be careful. Looks nice. The sort of back firewall. Amazing detail, in fact, on that. Here you go, it's nice and close. Light's burning it out a little bit, but hopefully you can see that quite well. Put those bits back on. Then we've really got just a mass of small uh, parts here, so that's probably the main bits there. Um, I won't get all these out because they're going to get broken, but we've got all sorts of different exhaust pipes, pipes here. Two, looks like two different types here. Yeah, we've kind of got these more rounded ones here. And then we've got these more sort of, I don't know, oval uh, type. So again, there's some tiny little bits and pieces here. Take off the blocks, that's going to be fun. You actually get a photo etch here for the sort of... Um, uh, not the, quite, I'm not sure what the term is, but obviously for the, the sort of pipe work, metal work that holds the engine in place, the engine mounting I guess, um, various bits and bobs there, again it's in it's in nice usual Eddard um, quality photo etch. I'll have a quick look through this smaller bag here and uh, see what we've got, again we've got some lovely detailed parts here, cooler I guess that is, this is the top of the engine. I suspect you'd have to add your own wiring though. Um, yeah, I mean there's all sorts of tiny, again with fantastic detail, detail in here. And then you've got these various parts for the actual sort of um, holding the engine in place. I don't know whether you can see that again. They're really nicely detailed. Yeah, I mean it's a fantastic kit. You know, it's, you know, it's, let's be honest, it's a kit in itself. I don't know if it actually tells you how many parts you get in this, but um, it is pretty awesome. I think you know, is the best way to put it. Um, and with care, it should build into a fantastic, um, fantastic engine. So that's going to be a bit of a challenge for me. I shall enjoy that. I'm sure. Um, anything else to report, really? Um, that's pretty much it at the moment. This things have been a bit quiet, um, modeling wise. Um, um, I've got a few new kits which I'll try and do some reviews of um, shortly um, and put them up on the site. Um, I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, look forward to seeing you soon.